Hey guys, this is Mizzy here from Mizzy's Creations. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to thread a Brother Brand sewing machine. This here is a bobbin that will fit under your machine. It is essential to have one of these and you have to make sure that um, if you buy replacements or any extras that this will fit your machine. It's very important. And then this here is just your average uh, white thread, nothing fancy. Now it's up to you if you want your thread and your bobbin to be the same color. They don't necessarily have to be and you know you could use that to your advantage. You could use two different colors to kind of create a different design. Okay so before we get started with threading the machine it is very important to make sure that your machine is um, in the off position or you could just simply unplug it. Um, you definitely don't want it on because if you accidentally um, you know, bump the foot pedal, you could easily uh, put the needle straight through your finger, so that's not pleasant. So, um, you could tell it's on because the light is here. So we're just gonna flip the switch over this side and turn it off. So the thread holder is over here. As you can see, it's down. You just simply pop it up. And then you're go going to take your thread, find the ending, here it is, and make sure that it's running this way. And you're gonna put it in the thread holder and then what you're going to do is you're going to hold it firmly you're going to wrap it under there's a little clip here you're going to wrap it under there and then pull it through here I don't know if you can see but it basically goes this way and down now this is just to thread the machine if you're going to refill your bobbin that's a whole different story so do not follow these steps for that so now that you have your thread you're going to take it and uh, pull it out a little bit, give yourself plenty of room. You're going to put it down in the slit here. And then at the end here, you're going to make sure that it goes under there and you're going to loop it back up here. Again, pull it out as much as you need to to make sure you have room. Now, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there is a little metal, um, kind of like a clip or a claw, however you want to describe it in there. So you want to make sure that it goes through there and comes back down. So basically you want to leave your thread on this side as much as possible, bring it up, and then bring it back down when it's under um, the claw there. Now if you don't see your metal clip, it's probably because it's not in the up position. An easy way to fix that is to um, wiggle your knob over here and you will see it will come up and down. Make sure that it's up as far as it can go and then you want to put your string through it and then it comes back down. Now before you play with the needle make sure that you can tug uh, your thread and it actually spins and nothing feels tight or, or any tension and then that's how you know that you did it correctly. Now that you have your thread all through here you're going to take the end piece I'm not sure how much is coming up in the video because it is white and so is the machine it might just blend in but anyways, make sure that it's not frayed at the end because then it just won't go through. And then you're going to find the little hole in the needle here. And you're just going to run it through. Okay, so I have it threaded. Now what you, what you want to do is you want to pull it so that there's no loose thread here. That's very important. And then you want to take your, your strand here and there's a slit in this little uh, metal clip you want to put it through that slit and make sure it doesn't tangle here and then you're going to pull it behind you and just give it a tug so that the whole thing is very nice and tight then you want to make sure that you have a good couple of inches back here because um, I'll explain why in a minute but you're definitely going to need all that space then you're going to take your bobbin you're going to make sure that the top strand the strand that's loose is um, going this way, in this direction. You're going to gently pop it in. Okay, so now that your bobbin is in place, take some extra thread, and then you'll see that there's a little slit in the front here. Um, there is like an, an instruction uh, diagram here in case you forget, but um, yeah, so definitely make sure it's going this way, and then put it into put it into the slit here on the machine. I apologize if my fingers are in the way. Okay, so I have it latched in there pretty good. And I'm just going to pull it again. And same thing as before. If, um, if you feel any tension or tightness, then you did it wrong. But if it feels smooth, then it's correct. 
And if, if you could see in the video here, there's a nice big slit this way. You're gonna bring this string down, and there you go. And you're just gonna leave it there for now. Take your clip and put it back in place. Now that the thread up the top is threaded properly and the bobbin is in place, your next step is to actually, um, you wanna take the string from the bobbin and pull it up under here. To do so, you're going to have to use the needle. Now again, you don't want to run the machine, so you're going to have to do this manually. Reach around to um, the big knob over here, and you're going to spin it down and pull it back up. Just once should do the trick. Now the key to doing this is you need to take this extra string here and gently tug it back. Now you can't probably can't see in the video, but I do have the um, bobbin thread peeking out. So what I like to do is I'll take like a pen or a pencil or um, in this case I have scissors handy. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to put the scissors like under that loop there and try to pull it out. It's different every time. Sometimes I, I get a lot of bobbin that comes up. Sometimes it's really little. So, okay. I don't know if you could see it now. Yeah, okay. So now I have two strings back here and I'm going to gently pull them a little bit so I got some more um, inches going on back there. And as you can see when I'm pulling it, the bobbin is turning with it. So now that means that the bobbin and the top thread are correctly loaded. Now as long as everything is moving correctly and it's not tight or tense, your machine is ready to go.